six. Seven. ETR seven double two four thriller sign it death part one take one. Heavy lunch. Uh, I don't know how she put up with him. Oh, push it, Hillary! Hmm? His wife. Oh. Such a nice woman. Push! All right. How's the bridge? So, sir. So. Overbid again, I suppose. I lost, if that's what you mean. <laughs> that's honest of you. What do you mean? <laughs> Most people blame the partner. My partner lost. Oh, I don't know. Jemima always says.
I'd make it just before eight. That's a civilized time for dinner, isn't it? And they hadn't got started. Maybe. Mrs. Winkle. Finkel. Finkel, you prepared the meal last night? I didn't do it. I wasn't here. I stayed with friends. It was my night off. Yes, we know that, but you did prepare the meal before you left. Of course. You think I would let them get hungry? I stayed with them for 20 years. Yes, what was the meal? The meal? Beef, potatoes, courgettes. He, Mr. Carter, is very fond was very fond of courgettes. They were good people, good people. No harm, no harm. And then someone, who would do it? Who would? Now, Mrs. Finkel. You find him, whoever he is, you find him, you hear? Oh, her. Typing at 60 words a minute, shorthand 120, operator switchboard, fluid French and German. Miss Conway, with these qualifications, you could get a very good permanent job. Oh, I prefer to move around, Mr. Robinson. That is, until I find the right... Job. One that suits you. <laughs> yes, that's it exactly. Do you have a work permit? Oh, I am British. I've been living in the Bahamas helping my father. He's a hotelier. That's where I picked up these qualifications. But now I'm back and, well, I hope to stay. I see. Bahamas, eh? Probably work with and for Americans from time to time, then. Practically the whole time. Well, I'm sure we won't have the least difficulty placing you, Miss Conway. London's full of American executives who'd give their eye teeth for a girl like you. I want an English boss. <laughs> They're less insistent, more gentlemanly. Uh, we'll start working on it right away. If you'd like to pop in first thing tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, by the way, are you married, Miss Conway? No. No, I'm not. Who was that? Tracy Conway. She likes Englishmen. Me, English. It was the last one in the show. Oh, you look super in it. I think if I left it five minutes later... <laughs> Very nice. My secretary idling away her time with small talk. And my wife helping her to do it. Mm. Mm. Well, at least I'm punctual. Mm? You've forgotten. Forgotten? Of course I haven't forgotten. Prue, I spent the whole morning with that American tycoon and found out how he made his first million. Oh. He's just plain mean. 
Not even a drink, a cup of coffee or anything. Oh, I'll get you one right away. Distinctly on American meanness. They're usually very hospitable. <laughs> forgotten what? You have forgotten. And I have been busy. What has slipped my mind? Our anniversary. Oh, that. Oh, that. You told me to meet you here uh, eight minutes ago, and you further promised me a fantastic... Fantastic lunch, a buying spree, a complete day to ourselves. Mm, dinner, theatre, everything. And you shall have it, um... Let's see. Friday next, without fail. Do you hear that, Prue? Friday, a day without a single appointment. Mr. Maine is sorry, but he's not available as he's falling in love with his wife all over again and cannot be disturbed. <laughs> that easy, winning smile of yours. It's going to get you into a whole lot of trouble one of these days. And preferably Friday. <laughs> mm, a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> Bye, darling. That's all right, Prue. I know just where to find it. There we are. Get me the backup figures on those estimates, would you? And hurry. tickets for Friday night the show you promised to take your wife to I did you did and there they are how very thoughtful of me us girls have to stick together good night mr. main good night Prue Good night, miss. Yes, hello. Who is it? Miss Clare? Miss Prudence Clare? Yes, who is it? Mr. Main sent me. Mr. Main? Oh, well, you better come up. It's the second floor on the left.
Miss Clare? Yes. Oh, hello. My, this is nice. Cute. I'm sorry, I didn't catch you. Oh, Mr. Main told me to call. Oh, this is very nice. Do you live here alone? Yes. Oh, that's good, isn't it? I mean, these days, rents being what they are, I mean, most people have to share, and it's awful sharing anything, don't you think? I hate sharing. I'm lucky. Yes, you are, very. You work for Mr. Main. Richard. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm disturbing you. I mean, you were just about to have your dinner. Oh, nothing special, just cold stuff. Why did Mr. Main well, send you... Well, go right ahead, I mean, don't let me stop you. Do you often eat alone? Unless I'm invited out. I expect that happens quite a lot, doesn't it? Not as often as I'd like. Have you known Richard, Mr. Maine, long? All my life, in a sense. No, it's funny, he must have mentioned you, but I'm sorry, I still haven't caught he you. He told me to call, he said you might help. Help? In what way? I want a job. Oh. Oh, would well, you type? Perfectly. Shorthand? Yes. Oh, well, it should be easy then. They're crying out for girls. What kind of job did you have in mind? Yours. A similar position. Oh, personal secretary. Mm. Oh, well, if you're any good, it shouldn't be so difficult. Though I don't understand why he sent you to see me. I thought one of the agents is... Because there. I'm special to him. Special? In what way special? We're going to be married. Married? Soon after I start working for him. Working? As a secretary. His personal secretary. But he's already married. And I'm his secretary. Don't spite me. We're going to be married, do you understand? Married. 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 Don't spite me. Morning, Prue. Come in, would you? Prue? Prue? Uh, where's Prue? Oh, I'm afraid she hasn't arrived yet, Mr. May. Oh. Thank you. Mm. Well, you better open all the mail except those marked personal. Leave those for Prue when she comes in. Yes, Mr. I'm afraid we haven't found quite the right job for you yet, Miss Conway. You see, we think you could pull down a pretty good salary, and we don't want to throw you away on just anything, do we? Oh, well, I do like to work. I mean, well, isn't there anything I could do around here? I don't know. The switchboard, maybe? Or... Well, with your qualification. Oh, I wouldn't mind a bit. Sally. Yes, Mr. May. Get me Forrester's contract file, will you please? Yes, Mr. May. Thank you. Yes, yeah, Sally. Oh, where is it, Mr. May? Just call Prue's home, would you? See if she's there. Yes, Mr. May. Thank you.
Yes, Sally. Or perhaps she's on her way then. Thank you. How's it going, Tracy? Fine, Mr. Seddon. No problems. Oh, I can see that. We've never had the board so efficiently run. Thank you. What are you making? My trousseau. Oh, didn't realize you were getting married. When's it gonna be? Soon. Very soon. Sally, I asked for Forrester's contract file. This is the general file. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Main. I thought they were the same. Well, they are not the same, Sally. You know where Prue keeps the contracts? I think so. Mm, good girl. Shall I? Mm, yes, please. Thank you. Are you ready for lunch? Oh, sorry, darling. I have to give lunch a miss. Prue's not here, and I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Is Prue ill? Mm. No, no, I don't think so. Sally telephoned her flat earlier. There was no reply. And she hasn't been in contact? No, no, not a word. It's not like Prue. Mm. Such a considerate girl. She'll never leave you high and dry like that. Don't you think you should make inquiries? Call the police or something? The police? Well, she might have been knocked over. Had an accident in her flat, anything. I'm putting you through. Mr. Robinson will speak to you now. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this, hmm? Sally, keep my direct line switched through, will you? I'm expecting a call. The police. There's nothing to worry about. They're just checking that nothing's happened to Prue, that's all. Main here. Good morning, Mr. Main. This is a check call from Girl Finders Associates, the city's biggest suppliers of temporary and specialist staff. Look. With the vacation season coming up, we find that many big concerns are grateful to know that we can supply temporary secretaries or stenographers at very short notice and at competitive rates. Look, will you get off the line? I'm expecting an important call. Oh, we're so sorry to have called at an inconvenient time. May we check back later? Yes, yes, whatever you like. Now, please, clear the line. <sighs> Never realize how many people a secretary keeps out of your hair. That's good thinking, Miss Conway. Kind of thing we need in this organization. <laughs> Hello, Sally. Light of my life. How's my favorite sex symbol? Huh? I've missed you. Oh, Mr. Lewis. Hey, hey, what's this? Tears? This won't do. People will start talking. It's just a. Prue's gone missing, and Mr. Main's been on to the police, and nobody's had any lunch. And, and, and I had to go and get sandwiches because they can't find her. Whoa, whoa, and... <laughs> pretty Sally, whoa. I'm sure none of it's as bad as you think it is. I'll sort it out. Come on, sit down. Okay? Hmm. Hey, what's all this about Prue? I see, Sergeant. So there's no trace of her being involved in an accident? No, we've heard nothing from her. 
Yes, I think you should. Please do that. You've got her address. Well, thank you. I'm going over to her flat to have a look. Oh, good. At least I hope it's good. Would somebody mind telling me where the fire is? Hello, darling. <clears throat> There's little Sally outside having a breakdown. You on the phone to the police. If this is what happens when I go away to the birds and the fishes, especially the birds. <laughs> Prue's disappeared. Disappeared? Girls like Prue don't disappear. She didn't come in this morning. There's been no reply from her flat and she hasn't been in an accident. And that's why you call the police? Probably went to a party last night and it spilled over into this morning. No, I don't think it's that. I think there's something wrong. Very wrong. No sign of a break in anyway. Milk's still here in the papers. Where's the bedroom? Through there. Did you see her come home last night or leave this morning? No. But then I wouldn't. I'm mostly the other end of the building. Bed hasn't been slept in, Sarge. Well, that settles it then. She didn't come home last night. No, she came in, was about to eat, then left in a hurry. That's it. Someone called unexpectedly. A man took her out to dinner, went on to his place, one thing led to another. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Does she often stay out all night? No, she isn't like that. A nice, sensible girl. Maybe, still likes a little bit of fancy romance all the same. Checkbook's still here. No large withdrawals. Cash, too. She hasn't gone for long. No breaking, no signs of violence. Nothing taken, so far as we can tell. This looks like one for missing persons. A lay of fiver, there's a man behind it. Uh, treating it as missing person, now that doesn't mean... No, no. No, good. Yes, please keep me informed. Thank you. What do they say? She wasn't there. They don't seem worried. I think they agree with Bill. No. No, no, that's not true. Ben? This is Girl Finders here again, Mr. Main. Just to remind you that should you need any help... Yes, I do need help. If only to keep people like you out of my hair. Um... Please send a secretary here first thing in the morning. And after your persistence, she'd better be good. Time to go, Miss Conway. All work and no play, you know. I've got myself an assignment, Mr. Robinson. Hmm? Richard Main Enterprises tomorrow. Well, we should be sorry to lose you. Lucky Mr. Main. What's that? Good night. night. Good night. Good morning, Mr. May. I'm Tracy Conway from Girl Finders. You asked for a secretary? You'll find the terms and conditions on the card, and if there are any questions that I can't answer, you can contact Mr. Robinson. His number's on the card. Yes, well, all that seems perfectly straightforward. Brown or white sugar? Mm? Or sweeteners? Oh, um, uh, uh, a brown, please. The mail on your desk requires your personal attention. The rest I've kept out of my office. They're just routine matters that I can handle personally from the files. I'll draft out suitable replies for your approval later. That's very good of you. The rest of the mail on your desk seem to be secondary questions of detail, though there is a small nucleus of things which I thought you might like to get into today, and so I've arranged them in order of importance. Good, very good. I've also checked through your diary, and I've booked you a table at the Dolphin for your lunch with Mr. Margulies. I noticed that it seemed to be your preferred restaurant for business meetings, and I've contacted Mr. Margulies' secretary to remind him. I'll be ready to take dictation whenever you want. Yes, well, thank you very much, uh, Miss... Um... Conway. Tracy Conway. Conway. Well, I'm sure we're going to get along splendidly. Uh, that'll be all for now. You do remember, don't you? Hmm? In the street. The day before yesterday, we bumped into each other. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Fate's a strange thing, don't you think?
And they're detectives, Miss Conway. They say Mr. Maine's expecting them. <sighs> Mr. Maine. Good morning, sir. My name's Detective Sergeant Quinn. This is Detective... Oh, yes. Any news? No, I'm afraid not, sir. We were hoping you might be able to give us a lead. How's the light of my life today? Feeling better? Yes, thank you, Mr. Lewis. All gone, is it? And who have we got here? I'm Mr. Maine's new secretary. Until Prue gets back. Any news of Prue? I'm Mr. Maine's partner. You'll be helping me out, too. My girl's away for another week. I see. Is his lordship in? Yes, he's got the police with him. Well, thank you, Sergeant Quinn. Uh, there's just one last thing, sir. It uh, puzzles us a bit. Oh. Everyone describes Miss Clare as a sensible, practical sort of person. Well, that's right, she is. There was a magazine in her flat. One of those uh, romance and fantasy things. It doesn't square with that kind of girl, sir. Is it possible she could have led a double life at all, sir? I mean, sensible and practical in the office. The castle's in the air outside. I'd have said it was totally impossible. I see. Well, thank you very much, sir. Uh, we'll keep in touch. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Who's the Snow Queen? Seen this old son? Hmm? Snow Queen? Yeah, outside. Oh, <laughs> well, that's Miss Conway. Girl finder sent her. Especially for you. For me? Well, she's just your type, isn't she? No, not at all. How's that? Never mind. What's the news of Prue? Hey, I always suspected it. Suspected what? Worried blue eyes. It's you. My chief inspector keeps passing me by without a glance. Could it be he's forgotten me with promotion coming up? I don't know why I bought it, but I did. Should have saved you money. Borrowed one from that girl's place. No, that's evidence. Evidence of what? I'm not sure yet. Yes, Mr. Uh, Miss Conway, get me my wife, would you? The numbers in Prue's book. Yes, Mr. Maine. Thank you. Yes? There's no reply, Mr. Maine. Shall I try again later? Uh, yes, yes, if you would. Thank you. What's that? The weekly stock return. Mr. Maine has to sign it. I'll take it. But I always get it signed. He's busy at the moment. Mr. Maine says it's never to be held up. Whatever he's doing, I'm to interrupt him and get it signed. Don't spite me. It's my job. Give it to me. I want the, uh, overseas file, please. Uh, yes, I'll bring it in Thank right you. away. And, um... Would you sign the stock return? Yes, sure. Here we are. That is the way it'll be done in the future. Oh, uh, I'm engaged. Time for your appointment. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, so it is. Yeah. And just in case you're held up, I've put back your call to New York. Very good. I may well be late. You're an efficient girl, looking after me beautifully. That's what I like to do. Any luck with my wife? I've been calling her every five minutes, but there's still no reply. Very efficient. No other problems, then? Oh, well, there is one thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Wilson. Oh, Sally, what about her? Well, you say that I'm efficient. I am, and I need... I like efficient people around me. <laughs> well, Sally's a bit feather-headed, I know, but willing. A nice girl. Well, I think we could do better. Uh, in fact, I... You are going into town, thought so. Where can I drop you? The Savoy. 
Won't be much off your route, and there's a blonde there who insists on punctuality. All right. Saves me the chore of parking. Uh, spare me the explanation. Or hunting for a cab. We'll talk about Sally later. What about Sally? Miss Conway thinks we can do better. If there's any thought of getting rid of Sally, she can come onto my staff right away. She's a good girl, eager to learn. Come on, that punctual blonde. I think perhaps you might have made a misjudgment, Miss Conway. Hmm. Hmm. Got it. Oh, yeah. What's been bothering me back of my mind all this time? A triple murder in the north about six months ago. Didn't they find one of these at the scene? A magazine. A romantic magazine. And what if they did? Get the file on it. I don't want any coffee. I didn't think you did. You must be telepathic. <laughs> It's often the way when two people are deep. Oh, they turned down the whole scheme. Turned it down flat. That's months, months of preparation gone to waste. Oh, not necessarily. Oh, you don't understand. A scheme as good as that one, it has to go. To a different buyer, that's all. It's not the scheme that's abortive, just today's contact. Do you mind if I kiss you? I'm beginning to wonder what I ever did without you. Yes, yes, you're right. All we've got to do is find ourselves a new buyer. And I know just the man to get the ball rolling again. Have the sales manager come up here. Yes. Mark? Oh, where is he? Yes, get him. Tell him it's urgent. I'll hold. I forgot to tell you, there's still no reply. Your wife? <laughs> she still isn't home. Probably had a secret little appointment she didn't want you to know about. Women are like that. Where were you today? I know where. I've been in all day. Well, I phoned you and there's no reply. <laughs> you must have misrouted. But I phoned several times. You must have misrouted several times. Perhaps the phone's out of order. I'll get the dinner. Hello, Chief Superintendent Barnes. Sergeant Quinn here, sir. CID Chelsea. I don't want to bother you, sir, but that triple killing on your patch about six months ago. The magazine that didn't seem to belong to the house. Go on. Well, we've got a missing girl here, sir. A magazine in her flat. Didn't seem to belong to her either. I'll be up on the first train tomorrow. I don't want to bother you with such a silly little thing, sir. I'll be up on the first train tomorrow. <laughs> now that is timing. How did you know? I had reception ring me the moment you hit the front hall. It is sugar, brown sugar. And there's a list of today's meetings. Thank you. Sarge? He's a big gun in the north, this Barnes, you know, Sarge. Mm. Well, suppose we brought him up here on a fool's errand. Well, I'm the fool on you, lad. You were right to call me. It was up to me to make up my own mind. Now, tell me about the missing girl. Yes, well, she's... On the way to our flat. Yes, Mr. Maine. Miss Conway, get me my wife, would you? There it is, sir. 
Mm, the stuff some kids read. But not this one. So they say. We checked the cupboard, sir, and the drawers. Oh, you were thorough, I'll say that for you. Thorough enough for a missing person, that is. Uh, we didn't exactly ransack the place, sir. Can't do that without a course. That's right. When she comes back and finds the fuzz of turned over if all the things. If she comes back. You did well to call me. Uh, the way we have it, sir, she was about to have dinner when someone came or called for her and took her out and... I think she was very wasteful of that her meal in there. Your murderer, sir. Killed them at dinner and then cleaned up. Vacuum, dusted, wiped. To get rid of the prints? We did that, yes, but I don't think that was the motive. No, it was obsessive, a need to be neat, tidy, efficient. It looks like blood. What's happening to that call to my wife, Miss Conway? It's still busy, Mr. May. It's been engaged now for 40 minutes. Who the devil has she been talking to for 40 minutes? Here you are. What's the big crisis? Well, there's no crisis, Bill. Miss Conway's just been trying to get me through to Janice. She's been engaged, that's all. Well, let's try the famous Lewis Luck. You must have been Miss Darling. Hello? Hello, who is that? Hello? Uh, hello, darling, it's me. I just thought I'd call and um, see how you were. Sorry, sir, I missed it the first time. It was under some clothes on the bed. I've never known a girl in all my life who ran away without her handbag. Now that settles it, I'm making this murder. You gather this lot up. better do now is find. Janice, how are you, baby? Oh, fine, thanks, Bill. Uh, Bill, I'd like a word about Richard. Um, there's nothing wrong, is there? But the business, I mean. Are there any problems? No, everything's great. Uh, what's this about Richard? Oh, well, it's just that he was a bit odd last night, and I just had a funny call from him. He had nothing to say. <laughs> it's not like him, Bill. Oh, I just thought there might be some headache at the office. Oh, he's got no headaches here. Well, none that he knows about anyway. No, he's probably just worried about Prue. I'll have a word with him. All right, thank you, Bill. Don't tell him I called. No, I won't tell him you called. Nice talking to you, Janice. Bye. Bye. Remains out of the meeting. Let me know as soon as he gets back. Yes, Mr. Lewis. I'd like you to get me.
We wouldn't want you to think we're not absolutely delighted with Miss Conway. We are. It's just that we do have a strict rule about references. We're all done in such a hurry. I'm sure you understand. Oh, just where she was last. Usual thing. Are you very kind? If you'd ask Mr. Robinson to ring me personally. Thanks very much. Goodbye. Ah, that's for you. Courtesy of Tartan Cranes. Bring your book in, would you? Oh, it's adorable. I'll keep it always. I shouldn't do that. Probably fall apart in six months, just like their cranes. It's the first thing you've ever given me. It's the way we'll always remember it. What? I always... Dick, can I have a word with you? Yes, surely. Alone. Now I'll buzz you when we finish, Miss Conway. Tartan Cranes. One account nobody wants. Have a look at their fiscal report. It's a great temptation. What's on your mind, though? Dick, there's something about that girl. <laughs> there is, isn't there? No, no, I mean, there's something odd there. Something I, I can't quite nail. I feel it. Oh, come on, Bill. She's just not your type. You said so yourself, straight away. Yes, well, that's part of it. An old bird fancier like me, you get a sense. No, there was a wrong vibration. <laughs> a lack of normal response. So any girl who doesn't fancy you is odd, isn't that it? No, there's more to it than that. This morning, I'm sure she was listening in to my calls. You're imagining things. She hasn't been here five minutes. A bit early for industrial espionage. It's this way, sir. I've been here before. Yes? I'd like to see Mr. Main, please. Bill, I won't hear any more of this. Miss Conway stepped into a difficult job at the last possible moment, and frankly, she's been the epitome of efficient... Mr. Main? Yes? Chief Superintendent Barnes, sir. So, so we found her body in her flat. She'd been stabbed to death. What? Messy. Prue. Who'd want to kill her? Well, the indications are with someone she knew. There were no signs of a struggle and no break in. It's a carbon copy of a killing in my area about six months ago, a little town in the north, Saltburn. And the same magazine left lying around on both occasions, romantic heart. Do you know anyone in the office who reads it? No, never even heard of it. Last night, it's quite obvious it isn't going to work. Well, nothing around to remind me of you, so returning photos. Doubtless some other lucky girl. You can't think of anyone in the office connected with Saltford in any way. Huh? I suppose somebody could have relatives there, for all I know. Why all this insistence on people in the office? Well, it's a long shot, but that place of hers, you have to press a button and identify yourself before being admitted. It could be someone she knew. Is this her desk? Yes. Oh, uh, this is Prue's replacement, Miss Conway. It was supposed to be on a temporary basis. Do you mind? Prue was found dead. Murdered. I just want to search her desk. Have you moved anything? No. No, it, it's exactly as I found it. Oh, they're mine. How well did you know her, sir? Well, she worked here. Oh, come now, that's not what I'm asking. Take her out, did you? Yeah, once. Uh, that's the joke around here. I get to take all the girls out once. And you took her to the races? Oh, yeah, I'd forgotten. 
Well, I didn't actually take her. We were all in a crowd anyway. That was more than four years ago. And yet she kept your photograph. When did you give her this? I didn't. That's the honest truth. Oh, look, this is ridiculous. I wouldn't have thought it of Prue, but obviously she had some kind of passion going for Bill, secretly got hold of a photograph. But that just it. isn't true. She had nothing for me at all. I mean, I know. Then you don't mind if we take a look around your office, sir? Uh, no. The bottom one's locked. The papers are confidential. I thought you said no one in the office read this, sir. Well, I certainly don't. That's not mine. I've never even seen it before. Look, what's going on here? Just a minute. That photo. Excuse me. I know where I've seen it before. Paula. Paula? Yes, Paula, the air hostess. It's a girl I've been taking out. We had a row about a month ago, and she sent me a goodbye note and returned some photos. That photo. I remember tossing the letter into a drawer. But it isn't there now. I'm certain I dropped it in. Paula? Yes. You've had a row with her? Yes. A violent row? Now, just a moment. I'll give you more than a moment, sir. I'll give you all the time you like down at the station. The station? Are you arresting me? No, I just want to ask you a few more questions. Okay. This way, sir. Don't worry, Bill. I'll get hold of Cranley. He'll get it sorted out. If he doesn't, we'll change our attorney. In fact, we ought to discuss lots of changes in personnel around here. Call Cranley. Our lawyer. Number's in the book. I have to call Janice. Mrs. Main? Yes. Oh, hello. This is Tracy Conway, Mr. Main's secretary. Oh. He asked me to call you to let you know that he may well be late home tonight. Oh. Now, who the devil is she talking to? Yes. Oh, Miss well, Conway. Thank you. I'm sorry. I have to go now. Yes, I hope we meet again soon. Any luck with Cranley? Um, I I'm afraid another call came through. Well, don't I'm bother. I'll going... get him. You try my wife. You can afford to hang on for an hour or so. Have you asked yourself what I would want with a romance magazine? I am asking myself. I mean, it was two, two pads. The magazine, the photo. Exactly my conclusion. Eh? Let me ask you something, sir. Do you think Mr. Maine was having an affair with his secretary? Cranley will call back sooner or later. I'd vote for later. You're worried about your wife, aren't you? Yes, I am. Janice hates to be alone in the evenings. I don't blame her. We bought the house because of its isolation. Oh, I bet it's times like this you realize what a millstone she is. Millstone? A worry, yes. Millstone's a bit harsh. Yes, but you are worried about her. Yes, I am. Perhaps if I phone or talk to her... Look, I've already thought about that. I'd like to help. Help? How? Well, there's no point in both of us staying here. I mean, you're the one who has to see Cranley, so why don't I go to your place? I could get a cab and stay with your wife until you arrived. But you'd know something's wrong. No, no, I'd be very neat. Neat? Discreet. You sure you don't mind? It was my idea. Well, it would relieve me of one worry. Then consider it done. I'll take care of her. The sooner I get there, the sooner you can stop worrying. Tracy. Thanks. You don't have to worry about her. Not ever again. Hey, 
end of a busy day. Never ends for some people. Hmm? Phone was ringing like wedding bells a while back. Don't they ever expect us to close? Oh, dear. Huh? This is probably main enterprises. Who? One of the directors there made some inquiries. I promised to call him back. Oh. Now, you go on. See you in the morning. I have to deal with it. It's past six o'clock. He's a customer. The customer is always right. No, no. Why? Well, it was Richard's idea. He's waiting for an important call, and, well, he didn't like the idea of you being stuck out here on your own. You can call me professional company, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I welcome it, of course, but, um, well, it's not quite fair on you, is it? I do sit down. I mean, a secretary's duty should finish at the end of a working day, shouldn't they? Oh, I don't mind a bit. I wanted to see the house anyway. Oh, it's so right. Richard has immaculate taste, don't you think? Well, I did have a little say in it, too, you know. Would you like a drink? Oh, no, no, thank you. I don't approve of women drinking. <laughs> <laughs> but you go right ahead, please. I was going to. Oh, did you want to put that down no. somewhere? No. Uh, I'm sorry. It's an old travelling habit. I always keep it with me. My passport, everything that's important to me is in here. Mm -hmm. Except Richard, of course. I can't pop him into my bag, can I? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course. It's so right. May I? Well, I was going to wait for Richard, but if it pleases you. It's so romantic. Yes, isn't it? Hello? Who? No, I'm afraid Mr. Lewis isn't here just now. Well, yes, I can take a message, but it'd be better if you could call back in the morning. I would be grateful if you did. He said it was urgent. I wouldn't like him to feel we'd let him down. I had concerns Miss Conway. Miss Conway? But why would he? Efficient, yes, you can say that again. Very satisfied. Honestly, Mr. Robinson, couldn't this possibly wait until the morning? But that's all there is. She's new to us as she is to you. Yes. But I agree. Very efficient. She speaks French and German as well. I understand that at her last position in Saltburn, she was highly sought after to... Huh? Awaiting another call, I see. Well, I won't keep you any longer. That's all the information there is. And I can't think why Mr. Lewis wanted it, but I'll pass on the message when he comes... when I next see him. Thank you, Mr. Robinson. Good night. Well, that's how it is when you're married to a successful businessman. You want him to be successful, to get to the top of the tree. The higher he gets, the less you see of him. You're not married? No, not yet. Not yet? Sounds as if you have somebody in mind. Oh, I have. Definitely. New to us as she is to you. I understand that at her last position in Saltburn. 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 Carbon copy of the killing in my area. A little town in the north. Saltburn. 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 I get the feeling that you and Richard are keeping something from me. What exactly happened at the office today? Oh, excuse me.
people, a man and a woman, found true love at last. Richard and me. And now nothing can come between them. Nothing. Nobody. What do you make of that? Golden rule, lad. Move first, think afterwards. It has to be. It was inevitable from our first meeting. Fate designed that. Do you believe in the stars? So Mine always promised me a fateful meeting with the right man, and now it's happened. Well, it's really happened, not like all those other times. I had to leave the Bahamas. Run away. <laughs> they would never have understood at all. He turned me away. Spited me. So he had to be punished, you see. Run away to England. Saltburn. Nice little town. Do you know it? No. Nice, neat, tidy town. Well, I, I, I thought he was my true love, the man I work for. He promised me so many things, and then, and then he couldn't, you see. He couldn't because of his wife and his daughter, and, well, he couldn't leave them, you see, and he, they spited me, and so they had to be punished, you Ms. see. Conway, no, no, don't interrupt me, please. It's nice to talk sometimes. To tell. <laughs> Kiss and tell, that's what they say, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I was so bitter then, being let down. But now I see that it was meant, because... Richard, from the moment he smiled at me, that... easy, winning smile, well, I knew that it had to be him, you see. But you're his wife. And it's an impossible triangle, like the magazines say, you see. Impossible. <laughs> romantic. Very romantic. Yes. Didn't you know that's what I am? Romantic.
romantic. Incurable.